Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vinny as well back in another LBX Little Bowser Experience video. If you guys enjoyed, don't to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go on star, shall we? In the last one, we took a day as Kaz and traveled around basically uh, pretty much everywhere and got to experience what it's like not having an LBX. Uh, here's a hint, it sucks. Kaz apparently has a new LBX now. I'm assuming it's the one he stole from the three Moes, I assume is what they're called. Uh, the ones with the Deku's that try to break into our house. I believe that um, he's using Pharaoh now. And the reason why this matters is because apparently Gabe fought him and Kaz murdered his LBX. That's apparently what happened. I don't really know the full story. But what we're going to do is we're going to sell all of our medals. And now we have enough money to buy coordinates, which is something we got before. So basically these allow us to set special moves. Um, we're going to buy this. Just No, I do not want to buy 11 of those. We're gonna buy this one for Amy so that we can uh, set her special moves so she can use actual really strong ones. Why can I not buy these? Oh, I can. I'm just blind because having to look at this from a different angle is weird. Uh, don't buy any of these because you get these like so easily in the store. Don't buy them. It's a waste of money. Um, this one you can buy. I don't know if you should because I forgot what you get a duplicate of in terms of coordinates. I mean, I know the CPUs, you get a lot of duplicates, so don't bother. But like, these are some things I like having because I haven't played this game in forever. So I'm just going to buy, buy, buy and pray. And as for the auxiliary units, get the auxiliary units. They're really helpful because they can uh, help make stats better. Like, for example, you know those times where we'll see like LBX have weaknesses to water attacks. Well, if you get a certain um, auxiliary unit, you can actually make them not weak to water attacks, which is pretty impressive. We got some new guns. We got a commando blaster. I'm going to get two of them so I can dual wield. We got a corkscrew lance, but you get corkscrew lances for free anyways. You get one bishop blade for free. I'm going to grab another one because you already got the one that's for free. You can get a dozer axe, but you can also get one of those for free, by the way. Gill arms, don't buy them separately because you can buy them in a set. You're not going to buy the light buckler. The Hutzman rifle you actually get for free in this chapter, so, you know, don't buy it here. As for brass knuckles, I don't remember if you get these for free or not, so I'm just going to buy them even though I never use them. And then as for battle cubes, because you can buy battle cubes, I'm going to get the Roman ruins, and those don't matter in the story match, but they matter in, like, the, um... Battle cube, the dial of battles outside the shop, and we can buy a new LBX set. You can either buy them as sets or uh, separate parts, but I'm not going to do either, and we have wasted all of our money on that. So before we go meet Ch Kaz, not Chaz, I'm going to quickly customize my LBXs because I just want to give them proper core units. So let's do that. Uh, Achilles, we have the Vita Buster now. So this is what I was waiting for last time. I had purposely set this up for this one moment. And then as for Amy, I'm going to keep her core units the same, except the more of these you have, I believe, the faster your robot gets, right? Am I crazy? Um, how am I going to make this work? Because what does the best in this situation? Okay, got it. So that's what we're going to do. You just got to uh, find the right combo. And that goes down. Okay. And then we'll take this over her current special attack routines. Because this will make it so that she can combine two strong ones together. Her core unit gives extra power to uh, the fist weapons, I believe. And then we shall move this down. And then this will come in because this is our highest next motor. And now we have an extra space, which I don't like, but whatever. Because um, if I move that down and then, yeah, no, no matter what, I'll have an extra space. So I guess that's just her now. Amy has an extra spot, but we can only use like supercharged attack routines, which I'll get into later. But she does have switches win, so I'm teaching her that immediately. And I don't have a super special attack routine, do I? I do not. So, again, I'll explain what super special attack routines are later. I mean, granted, that's just what I call them. I don't think that's actually a term for them, but whatever. Apparently, we have extroller mail. What do I feel like it's about uh, Kaz? It is. Watch out for Kaz. My poor bulldoze 4WD, four-wheel drive. And just after I finally convinced Mom to buy it for me, that Kaz, I swear, why do you keep attacking me after the fight was settled? Come on, Van, I'm counting on you. Well, to be fair... After we thrashed Gabe yesterday, Gabe did want to keep playing. I don't know why. I feel like, you know, Cass is giving him what he wants. That's a very uh, dickish way to put it, but to be fair, I hate Gabe. I'm so glad that he lost. I, I'm upset that Kaz went off the deep end and was like, fuck it, let's just kill everything that Gabe loves and owns. But to be fair with you, I don't care for Gabe. I really don't care. 
So I'm fine with this. Oh yeah, I forgot I can set weapons. I hope Kaz doesn't immediately challenge me the second I get to the riverside. Okay, good. So in that case, now that I remember, I can set weapons with my uh, new stuff and you can finally customize the Achilles armor. I'm gonna keep it the same though. As for the atomic pistol, I'm gonna go back to dual wielding because shields do me shit in this game. And I'm gonna put bishop blades over the um, broadsword because bishop blades just do more damage. And while they don't do cut damage, they do smash damage. And a lot of things I see are weak to smash damage of some kind of variety, so always go for the smash weapons in this game, just because that's what I noticed. Or maybe that's just me and everything I fight. So, I guess you just go down here. Kaz! That was not there before, but whatever. Hmm. Was it really you who destroyed Gabe's bulldoze? That's a new battle box we see. I like it has like an, a little Egypt field. Hmm. Fan. You and me in the box, right now. Is that a new OBX? Hmm. You brought a new OBX? Awesome! But I've never seen that model before. Don't tell me it's one of a kind. Where'd you get it anyway? And also, why did you destroy Gabe's OBX? Again, I'm with you on this one. I just want to know your reasoning. That doesn't matter. Come on, let's do this. Really? I mean, I, I would agree with you to destroy Gabe. Pharaoh's gonna rip you to shreds. That's such a cool name. It's perfect. Looks like you got yourself a pretty strong OBX. Yep, it's Pharaoh, the thing that he stole from that shop. Then again, I feel like those are the plants or whatever. I'll take you on any time. Achilles, battle on! Now, I remember this match specifically for a reason. And I tell you what, in the anime, it was very overdramatized, but whatever. But that's just anime for you. So he's level 8, we're level 6, we're at the disadvantage level. We have no idea what his health is. Let's just go for it. Fuck it. Oh wait, that's a that was multiplier on. Oh, this is a fight to the death. Oh shit. Okay. Get back here, Kaz. So I just gotta say, I really love this field because in the anime, what ends up happening is because it's named Pharaoh. Obviously, this is Egyptian-based field. They made it so that like Pharaoh's feet are perfect for the stadium, but any other LBX that fights on is extra astronomically slow. Like for example, Pharaoh moves as fast as wind. And Achilles over here gets like slow and it gets pinned down, but counterattacks happen. Anyways, go multi thrust. Oh, screw you. Okay, well, I still hit him somewhat. That's good. So I like how we're fighting head on though, because it's my first time actually using Achilles in a while. Not gonna lie, it actually is. So, okay, jump out the way of a hit. I would have put the shield up if I could. What the? F this isn't actually that hard. It's. Like, it's difficult, because he is faster than me, because, you know, Achilles isn't a fast LBX, but he's not... Okay, well, cool. What? What's going on with this X-Troller? Interesting. I've never seen this mode before. I could not tell you that. No way. What happened to Achilles? Oh shit. It's... Oh, he's going on a rampage. Stop it. If you keep this up, Pharaoh's gonna be totally destroyed. I don't think Achilles cares. Oh, and he's down! Cass. And Cass faints. Um... So... What just happened? Exactly? I mean, I was winning, but what happened? Are, are you okay, man? Kaz! Oh no, Kaz is still alive. I thought he passed out. Van? Amy? Hold on, what are we doing here? Uh, you challenged us to a fight. Did you forget? You're a battling van, and then you fainted all of a sudden. No one faints on their knee, that's not how fainting works. I would love to see someone faint on their knee, but I've never seen someone faint on their knee. Really? You don't remember? Nope, I, remember, I don't remember a thing. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. I knew that LBX was powerful, but this? This is a whole new level. Okay then. 
V mode activation has been confirmed. What? The readings from the AX00 are off the charts, sir. There's no mistaking it. Okay, well, first off, if what I think you're talking about is correct, I was using AX00. Yes, I was using its parts, but I was using Achilles, so I think I'd appreciate it if you were actually correct on it. But also, um, what the hell is V mode? <laughs> so, V mode has been activated. We must recover the platinum capsule without delay, or it might be too late. I couldn't help overhearing that you were having some difficulties, Mr. Aron. German? Really? They just call- oh, sorry, Gorman. I thought they just called someone German. Gorman? First, the AX00 was stolen. Then you tailed the- then you failed with the Pharaoh. And now the boy has discovered V-Mode. How shameful. But then, your schemes have always been, how shall I put it, lacking finesse? Hmm. According to my analysis, Pharaoh did not experience any f functional issues. There was a 99.99 probability of defeating the AX00. Losing the Pharaoh could be worthy of a court martial. Are you sure you're not going easy on that boy? In order to achieve our leader's grand ambitions, sacrifices must inevitably be made. Surely you understand this. Please allow me to interject, General. We in the Blue Brigade do not wish for our plans to get put out in the open. Rather than a public and drawn-out court case for Mr. Aaron here, might I suggest a mere elegant solution? It is still too early for the public to be made aware of the existence of the new Dawn Razors. However, perhaps at this vital time, leading, letting the Black Brigade has become too heavy of a burden out for Mr. Aaron. If so, perhaps it would be prudent for him to step down from his position. Would you not agree, Mr. Aaron? Hmm. The New Dawn Rages are not just some crime syndicate. To behave in such a way en route in realizing our ambitions, it would be an insult to everything we and our leader stand for. Would you not agree? Hmm. I believe Mr. Aaron is correct. Oh god, now I get my old man voice out. Oh, Mr. Kaido, sir! Children are the future of our nation, and indeed the world. We must not harm them if, to, if, if, eh, if it can be avoided. Mr. Aaron is scrutely aware of this, which is precisely why I have such faith in him. That's fair! He could have just killed us at this point. Like, if he's gonna take over someone's mind, he could have just ended us, but he didn't! He took the peaceful way out, which granted failed, but still. That is very kind of you, sir. Mr. Aaron here is a fine leader of the Black Brigade. He does not need the rest of us to tell him how to do his job. He knows exactly what needs to be done. Is that not so, Mr. Aaron? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Well, that solves one problem. I know this is weird, but it so almost sounds like he was hypnotized or something. I mean, we did see hypnotic loop rays coming out from Pharaoh when Kaz picked it up, so maybe something's up. Are you serious? Yeah, and whoever did it wanted Achilles destroyed. Oh, what was your first clue? But who would do that? Hmm. I gotta say, though, I'm kind of sad that LBX doesn't have, like, eternal dialogue because in the anime they go at it and it makes it seem really like Kaz is a villain. And they paint it out good there, but here you don't get any dialogue with Kaz, which is sad. I'm sorry, Van. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like it was your fault. You're, bla you're back to Kaz, you're back to the Kaz they know, and that's all that matters to me. Anyway, we've got a little surprise for you, don't we? Oh, right. Kaz, why don't you hang on to this gladiator for a while? Me? This particular LBS requires a lot of skill, and if anyone can handle it, my friend, it's you. You're kidding. Give it a go, Kaz. Mm. I gotta admit, no, this is a genuinely good scene. Thanks, guys. This is great. Things are starting to look up. Like, cause I know, I think troopers and uh, gladiators are different frames, but they are slightly similar LBX, at least in my mind they are. And giving Kaz some similar LBX is actually pretty good, especially cause it's actually a custom gladiator, cause you can tell by the colors. It was harsh losing trooper, but I guess there's no use in crying over spilled milk. I'm gonna get, save up and buy my own brand new LBX. But until then, I'll use the Gladiator. 
I'll do you proud with it, Chief. Oh, right. All right, then. Let's get battling right away. I agree. Let's practice with this new gladiator. So, we got the special gladiator set acquired, I guess. An assassination? You mean to tell me they're planning on assassinating Prime Minister Vanguard? Yeah, according to my man on the inside, they're planning an attempt on the new Prime Minister's life. Vanguard's a popular figure. Word is that Kaido sees him as a huge obstacle in his plan to seize power. Huh, Prime Minister Vanguard, where have I heard that name for, for from a level 5 game? Uh, I don't know. So Kaido thinks he can just get rid of anyone who opposes him. It makes me sick. The Prime Minister's inauguration parade is fast approaching. I bet that's their angle. And they're going to use an LBX for the assassination, right? Yeah. Hmm. A parade for the Prime Minister is sure to have a pretty tight security. There's no doubt they're aware of that fact, which means they must have a very advanced LBX. Its code name, Hitman, apparently is pretty fa powerful. Yeah, that's not the most obvious name you could give it. Yeah, don't call it Hitman! <laughs> oh my god. Hitman, huh? Hmm. There must be a way to stop it. Ha! Huh. Let's see, an assassin. That's the Huntsman rifle we saw earlier. And it, ah, it looks interesting much like a sniper rifle. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Getting an idea here. I was waiting for you to say that. Take a look at this. What is it? An LBX? Is this a new model? Its name is Hunter. All the parts and equipment are the latest tech. I'll bet the functions are top notch too. I see. So we fight fire with fire. Yeah, you know, as they say, because when you use fire against fire, nothing gets burned at all. Definitely not. So let's just fight a sniper with a sniper. Nice. I think this could come in handy for stopping this assassination. But where did you come? But where'd it come from? Someone sent it here, but there was no name or return address. It did have this attached to it, though. A letter? You must enlist the help of the kids with the white LBX. Okay, which one? Like, I can name- Trooper! Literally a normal color trooper is a white LBX. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm assuming they mean Achilles, because that's the only thing I can make sense of, but literally a normal trooper is white. What does that mean? I'm not certain what whoever sent this wants, but I think I can guess who the kids with the white LBX are. I can tell you that much. Okay then, well, there's Hans. Cool. The next morning. So now there are more people searching for us. Great. Ah, Kaz is here. Hey guys. What took you so long, Van? You've got to get to school. Huh? What's gotten into you, Kaz? You just can't wait to do some battling with this gladiator. What's wrong with being on time? It's better than rushing into the wrong class by mistake. It was one time, Kaz! I told you that in confidence! That again? Can't we just forget that about that already? Let's just get going. You know our classroom is on the third floor, right? Again, Kaz! I know! Ugh. You won't stick. You can't get a break. Whatever. Well, Kaz has now joined our party. And he's using a gladiator. And there's a reason I picked up the extra gladius before. Because, well, like... I guess we'll see it later of why I picked up the Gladius, but basically, Kaz's new Gladiator here comes with the Gladius. I mean, not Gladius, sorry, Broadsword. Gladius is a later weapon, but yeah, that's what I meant. I picked up a Broadsword, and he brings an Atomic Pistol with him. Did I buy another? Oh, fuck, I bought another Atomic Pistol, did I? I'm dumb. Yeah, that's why I shouldn't have bought the other Atomic Pistol, but whatever, because you get one for free. But it works out. You can customize his core units. So you get a Mantis. This is not the first Mantis you will get in story mode. You will get a lot more. But basically this raises a, a power to sword attacks. So yeah, I knew I should have bought another. Uh, oh, we know. Sim Valve is the thing where you never mind. Yeah, I should have bought the light pink ass again. I don't know why I didn't. I love giving Kaz this Manta thing. But um, I'll customize him later. Take that as you will. And... Yep, that's pretty much all we're actually going to do for this episode. I know Kaz really wants to test out his new OBX, but uh, now nah, we'll let Kaz wait a little bit longer. Because in the next one, we're going to do all the bits of exploring. We're going to let Kaz test out his new OBX. We're going to do everything fun. So, I'm ending here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, join the Discord, follow the Twitch. 
and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to battle on.